Okay, so what I'm going to do is explain exponential growth and decay. And when you have an exponential function, you have P equals PO times A to the T, where PO is the initial, initial quantity of the function when T equals zero, and A is the factor by which P changes whenever T increases by one. So, if you have that a is greater than 1, you have that a equals 1 plus the percentage of growth over 100. And when you have that a is greater than 0 but less than 1, you have that a is equal to 1 minus the percentage over 100. So, an example of this problem would be if we had a city that had an initial population of 10,000 people and say it had a growth of 5% each year. We would have that A is greater than 1, so we have A equals 1 plus 5% growth over 100, which equals 1.05. So we have P of T equals 10,000 times A, which is 1.05, times T. And say we want to find out what the population growth was over after two years. We would have P of 2 equals 10,000 times one point O five squared, which would equal eleven thousand and twenty five. And that's what the population would be after two years. However, if we had a population decrease, we would then say we had a population decrease of five percent, we would then have that A is um, equal to 1 minus the percentage of decay, which is 5 over 100. So that would equal 0.95%. So if we want to find the decay after two years, it would be P of 2 equals 10,000 times 0.95 to the 2, which is the time is two years. And that actually comes out to be 9,025. So, once again, if you had growth, um, it would be A equals 1 plus the growth over 100. And if you had decay, it would be A equals 1 minus the growth over 100. And that's basically uh, exponential growth and decay.